There was once a land called NorCal, amongst the cannabis trees, where the folk that smoked their flowers lived a happy life in peace. But an ancient law dictated that all cannabis is bad, so the G-men confiscated every flower that they had. Then the people got together and proclaimed, it is our will that this flower still be legal for the dying and the ill. On the hill, Mr. Obama, who presides over the land, heard the voices of the people and replied to their demand. Under my administration, you may use your medication as long as you always follow every local regulation. And so it was with this promise that the flower once more bloomed and the sick people would use it unaware of looming doom. Twas the hog, U.S. attorney, who corrupted with her power would set out to bring destruction to every last cannabis flower. She pretended she was only deeply invested in the law, but she cut from every garden every flower that she saw. It's not working fast enough, muttered the hog in frustration. We mustn't stop until we reach absolute eradication. Get the dispensary owners and try to get their suppliers. If they say you have no reason, make one up and call them liars. Bring the operators before me from every corner of town. I will come up with a reason to one by one shut them down. So they brought the vapor room and the divinity tree from the heart of San Francisco where the movement came to be. Many people really need us, both the operators pled. Their objections didn't matter. She just said, off with their head. The head of Oaksterdam College, a man ahead of his time, had once made a proposition that cannabis not be a crime. All his work was not rewarded, and he was punished instead, when the hog in fuming fury simply yelled, Off with his head! And now the hog is facing her largest and loudest dissenter. They have brought into her courtroom the Harborside Health Center. In six years, a hundred thousand patients walked through their doors. Harborside was also featured in the TV show Weed Wars. Even government officials say to close it would be a pity. After all, the businesses paying lots of taxes to the city. When the hog was asked the question why she's after Harborside, she just grinned and cleared her throat and said this when she replied. <clears throat> there is no reason to close them from everything I've read, but they're too large to be trusted. So I say, off with their head. <gasps> Everyone gasped and surprised. She had dropped her pretenses. And when they saw her intentions, the people came to their senses. We cannot stand this abuse, yelled a voice in the crowd. This is America, land of the free, and this nonsense not allowed. When will President Obama finally take a position? He could end this if he wants to by executive decision. Their voice grew up in volume and became a roaring shrill that reached the ears of Obama up in the Capitol Hill. I pledge to offer protection to everyone who is in need. And you know that I'm no stranger to the magic of this weed. Hog, you're abusing your power. I heard everything you said. I hereby end your appointment and make you smoke a spliff instead. And so arrives the conclusion of our political spiel. But this fable's not a fantasy, it's a nightmare, cause it's real. What would President Obama really do in such a scene? Will he stand up for the people? Well, that's still yet to be seen. So let the president hear us, that we will not easily scare. We are medical cannabis patients, and we are not going anywhere.